Hey, it's Adam from Deck Dive AV Club. We are in Vegas Pro 19, and I'm going to talk today about how to get rid of wind noise. So, so let's listen to my audio. You can see here, this is with the wind noise going on, and this is with the wind noise not going on. A candle, though my wife does make candles, not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, normal scratch. Uh, I'm using some of these little tiny candles because hers would be hard to do the heating uh, element I'm in. I am starting a fire with these magic fire starting sticks. It's not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, normal scratch. Uh, I'm even, even when I'm looking straight at the microphone, it's still not uh, ideal. So we need to do something. The wind is distracting and loud. We can't get rid of it. The wind noise is there. It's not going away. But what we can do is reduce it and get it to the point where the wind noise is no longer dominating the shot. It's no longer excessively loud. My voice is is my voice is the more present item over the wind noise and the wind noise isn't blowing out people's headphones. So to do that, let's get started. We need to uh, go to our track effects here. Um, you can do all of these if you right click the track itself. You can do all of these by adding audio event effects. Um, but when if you need to do it just to the event itself, but I'm doing it to the track because that'll be more helpful for me because I'll be cutting this in the pieces later. Um, so I'm going to go to track effects and uh, let's go to the track EQ. Now your voice is right around here between like 80 and a little over 160. This is like your primary area where your voice is. However, you will have timbres of your voice, pitches of your voice, harmonics of your voice that travel throughout a lot of the spectrum. This is really the sweet spot about where your voice is. So when you start messing with this area, you start messing with your voice and that's not what we want to do. However, wind noise is low and bassy and over here is our low bassy side of things. So if we take this and we drop it down and yours will start around right here. Uh, if you take it and you drop it down and choke it up, you can choke out the bass noise um, and I wouldn't really go past 80 but you can choke out a lot of the bass noise but right here I'm softening my voice too so if I increase the roll off I can have a sharper angle right here and I can push this back a little closer to 80 where now I'm not affecting my voice range near as much um, I'm gonna try to put it right around there so let's listen to it uh, again now not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, normal scratch. So you can see um, it's no longer like getting close to peaking. So let's watch it without, and you'll see that it'll it'll get right up. This is our audio levels. It'll get right up to the top. Handles not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, normal scratch. Uh, I'm using some of these little tiny can, and, and my headphones are just shaking, uh, and my ear hurts from that noise. So um, what I'm going to do is. Turn this back on, then you can see. Handles, not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, normal scratch. Uh, I'm using some of these. My voice isn't really affected at all. However, the wind noise is no longer like so dominant and present. It has really cut a lot of the wind noise. However, it's still in my way. The wind noise is still loud. And so there's another thing we can do. Instead of compressing it, because we just a normal compression, we would be like uh, squishing the wind noise and our voice closer together. Uh, I want to listen to find out where in the levels my voice is without the wind noise. I am starting a fire with these magic fire starting sticks. Um, but my voice is really kind of hovering around here. A little bit louder sometimes, but a lot of times it's right here if I'm looking down. Um, so really this range is my voice. Um, the wind noise, however, it's not from absolute scratch, but from scratch. Um, it is, is a lot higher. So we can take a limiter and make sure that that wind noise is is dropped. So we're going to do a hard limiter on it. And with the hard limiter, it'll make sure that it starts right here. It'll say, sorry, hit default to all parameters. It says limiter, lo limit levels to negative six decibels. And the limiter, candles, not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, normal scratch candles. See, now it never goes above six. So that's a good way to turn down the wind, but not turn down my voice. Um, but we can actually get that even better. So this right here is the threshold. We're going to kind of drop it and like we talked about, my voice never really goes above nine, um, but it's mostly kind of down here. So I'm gonna drop the threshold to about eight. Candles, not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, 
normal scratch. Now we're making sure that the wind noise never really exceeds my voice. Um, but the problem is, is my voice is still too quiet. Eating uh, element I'm in. And I need it to be kind of up here between three and nine. So I want to turn my voice up, but I don't want to turn the wind noise up. Normally I would just turn up the volume right here, um, but doing that would 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 kind of start reducing all these fixes we've done. Uh, it would start still bringing up the volume of everything. Now it wouldn't be as bad because these fixes would still be there, but. Um, uh, we we want to we don't want to to fight against the fixes because all we've done is reduce the volume of the wind noise and so what we need to do is add an effect here where uh, it is the graphic EQ we're going to hit add and OK and here um, we're going to go to where my voice is and uh, we're going to try to kind of isolate just my voice so let's let's do that here. Uh, I'm using some of these little tiny candles because hers would be hard to do the heating uh, element I'm in. I am starting a fire with these magic fire starting sticks. Um, I've seen them start a fire with ropes. I don't have that amount of time. A candle, though my wife does make candles not from absolute scratch but from scratch, normal scratch. Uh, I'm using some of these little tiny candles because hers would be hard to do the heating uh, element I'm in. I am starting a fire with these magic fire starting sticks. Um, I've, uh, I'm using some of these little tiny candles because hers would be hard to. So there, that's that's kind of my voice, and I'm gonna kind of just do this, drop off everything that's not my voice. Um, this is not a good uh, natural looking EQ. Um, don't just like copy my EQ because yours is going to be completely different. What I've done is I've listened uh, to where my voice, I can just kind of pull up the minimum amount I need to have my voice sound clean and clear and not distracting um, uh, while everything else is down. So that way when I raise the volume, right here on the output gain uh, I'm not I'm only raising the volume on this part I'm not raising the volume on everything from scratch normal scratch uh, I'm using some of these little tiny candles because hers would be hard to do the heating uh, element I'm in I am starting a fire with these magic fire starting sticks um, I've seen them start a fire with ropes I don't have from scratch normal scratch a little too much candles not from absolute scratch but from scratch normal scratch uh, I'm using some of these little tiny candles heating uh... there so there we've done a great job of, of reducing maybe let's even do even harsher so let's go back to the track EQ and let's tighten this a little more uh, and let's see if that will help cut some of the uh, of the loudness of the wind uh, a little more throughout this chain of effects this is called the event chain Candles, not from absolute scratch, but from scratch, normal scratch. Uh, I'm using some of these little tiny candles. So while uh, beforehand the wind was dominating, it was loud, and it was um, covering up my voice, now my voice cuts through better. The wind isn't so loud, and um, I've not fixed the problem, but I've reduced it. So now uh, what we want to do is when the viewer watches, we want them to be able to hear my voice and focus on what's going on and not just constantly think, dang, that wind. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I'll see you next time.